Abigail, would you like to join us? Abigail Stockinger, crimson and alizarin left. Watercolor paint on arch paper. Four inches by five inches. 2020. A pale-skinned, naked woman stands with her back to us. Her head is in profile, facing right. She has short, dark hair. Both her arms are extended to the right, and the curve of her breast is visible. Gold bones make up her crooked spine. A thin line marks her waist. Her bare feet are on the footrest. She is surrounded by a background of shades of red, with darker red below and above her, and lighter shades to her sides. This is so lovely. I don't even know where to begin. Um, you all are so inspiring and um, it's just almost humbling sometimes. I came across the opulent mobility. I was on an artist call search just last. I, I had done a few shows this year and I was going to try one more. And yours was the perfect combination of disability and artistry without what you guys are saying. The inspiration porn. I was so excited to see something like this and I'm so sad that I have missed out on the last few years. I, I'm really involved with advocating for my support group for spinal cord injury and we try and be inclusive for all disabilities out of Berkeley and that's where I do a lot of, I, I used to because um, I used to live in the Bay Area but I live out in the boondocks now but for years I was involved and this is exactly something I'm going to send back to all my people there <laughs> to help promote because this is just what needs to be expressed and everything that every one of you have brought forward is is such what needs to be seen and that as myself as a disabled person as an artist and an advocate for my my friends and family um and so i'm just grateful and the, and the whole word of opulence is something that i myself have been striving for in my daily life for in dealing with the disability and it's such, again, a great chord between the artist and the disabled person, you know, and how do you marry the two? And opulence is that it's the manifestation of all these beautiful things, but making it real. And um, we deserve that, you know? And and it's so frustrating sometimes say, I, you know, I just actually, this is a personal thing. I just received my new wheelchair this year. <laughs> and, you know, the usual fight that you have to go through to try and get your equipment and trying not, you know, accepting what you can, but trying not to over medicalize it, you know, that that's been a huge struggle because I want that beautiful texture on my chair, but it's not available unless you do it yourself or you find somebody, right? And, you know, how do you, so trying to make the most out of what you can and, you know, being grateful for it, but then you're like, it's just this hunk of metal. <laughs> you know there's no like expression to it so what do you do with it with yourself so again the having this is just like oh there is more there is more to this so that that's on my personal thing the the artist part of me is I come from kind of a artist family blue collar family um my mom self-taught artist my dad did glass work so I kind of have a love for many arts and that's where um you asked if why the watercolor in particular but it's really that's where i got into trouble in college as i not only you know i'm advocating for disability during college but i'm also kind of like not a purist so i got into a lot of trouble with my teachers like well you have to love this one you can only love photography you can only love ceramics and you can't just do ceramics it has to be artistry it can't just be crafts and art and I'm like, well, why can't there be the both, you know, and it, and <laughs> you can have artistry and usefulness at the same time. Currently, though, you know, I have this love of all the different arts and but presently the watercolors, I felt like I was getting too comfortable and I wanted to push my boundaries. I was the first one I was formally taught in and it's always like I get into a comfortable niche and I, I thought I was getting a little too easy with it and wanted to push it and get out of my comfort zone, honestly. Um, and the, the paintings in particular that I, that you guys chose, I was really trying to push the color and only use either the tone with a little bit of change in the, in the colors and pen and ink, and then, and then the paper and that's it. It ties in with the disability too, with the wheelchairs. I didn't want to make it like, oh, the disability, oh, power them. I wanted it to be the experience. They, they happen to be sitting in wheelchairs. 
it's not the focus, you know, because it's not the focus. It is a part of me and it is a part of my people that do use wheelchairs or walkers, but it's not all of us. You know what I mean? Um, it doesn't define us. It's a part of us. So, and that's really what my message has been about with that group. And I just started, I have only a couple of others, but those two were really, um, it was about using the color to push that comfort zone. And that's, that's it for, for those paintings in particular. Uh <laughs> well, thank you. No, I'm, they're so striking. Anthony and I were both like, oh yeah, those are in. <laughs> it's super clear. <laughs> Thank, and oh, I forgot you asked about the spine. The, yeah. the golden, yeah, so I, uh, I'm a spinal cord injury. So of course that's like my self-absorbed part being the artist, you know, um, it's my reflection. That's also kind of the trajectory point of to where it introduced me into the disability world, but it's not the focus because with spinal cord injury there comes a lot of secondary issues and as you get older as i have a lot of other stuff happens and then i rebroke my spine again <laughs> so it's really i wanted to show like you know you just you keep learning as you go and you never know what lies ahead and and the spine is definitely my um expression of my yeah if that even makes sense um no, it does. I mean, it, they're just so striking, but those are, you know, literally and figuratively dead center in the image. <laughs> you know, that's where your eye goes to. So, and then you kind of splay out to the rest of the color. So that was why I was wanting to ask about them. Thanks. Well, great. Thank you. Welcome. And thank you so much for getting involved. This is really awesome. How did you find out of us, uh, this again? Is that um, it was on one of the, I think, Art Cafe, Art Artist Call. Okay. I was just cruising through there. I had joined a few other art shows in, um, in the, in the last year. And like, I forget who just said it. Um, this year has been profoundly inspiring for, despite all the crazy sadness, this time being sequestered in, it has really given me an opportunity to do more art than I ever have. Mm -hmm. And it kind of keeps having to not allow people in really had to make me focus on my mm -hmm. art and really push things out and not just let days go to waste and yeah so the artist call was part of that and I was just kind of cruising through and your guys is it was great again the marriage of of art and disability is fantastic without the porn without saying freedom this and, <laughs> and <laughs> you know it's nice to have it's nice to have a nice label instead of you know yeah. they're suddenly so inspiring thank you uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah. I'll back off now <laughs> sorry no totally understand because yeah that's a lot um some of the people that I've been working with they're like I don't need to have people randomly walk up to me in the grocery store and say I'm inspiring just for a living oh that's gosh <laughs> what is wrong with you <laughs> it's true it's so true I, I want to yeah what's not inspiring about my friend with me yeah. we're all just trying to go yeah <laughs> we're all living here i thank you again i really appreciate it